Lately, I've been putting this vibe out there like I'm this really big multifamily guy. And you might be asking yourself, self, why is Ryan all in on multifamily right now? Well, the truth is, I think most of the information that's being put out by real estate agents is a little overly rosy uh, about the future of the housing market. Because I think there's a plausible scenario in which, you know, interest rates stay high for a very extended amount of time. That's going to have a lot of negative pressure on the housing market. And then, you know, if this recession keeps stringing out and it starts to have a negative people effect on people's jobs, it could really affect the value of single family homes negatively. Uh, and then also, you know, in a recession, commercial property is not necessarily an excellent place to be. And so I look back at the last big recession, you might have heard of it. And I thought, what asset class performed the best throughout that entire period of time? And multifamily is 100% far and away above anything else that happened back then. And the reason is, you know, those places stay rented out and their value is tied to how much money they bring in. And more specifically within the multifamily space, class B, so those middle of the road properties, they perform the best because the really, really high end stuff weren't able to fetch as high rents. And so that brought down the value a little bit. The real low end stuff, it still cash flowed because they were able to keep it rented out. A lot of it might've been subsidized, but just because of the you know sentiments of the housing market, just as a whole, they lost value. Whereas that middle of the road stuff, you know, you know, average price, average rents and things like that, that stayed steady the entire time. It's the safest place to be. Also, full disclosure, multifamily buildings cost more and I make more money.